Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have just filmed what I've got Harry for Christmas and I'm now gonna do what I've got Ellie for Christmas. I hope she doesn't watch this. I'm pretty sure she won't because whenever she's watching YouTube, I'm always with her so I know what she's watching. Um, but I do wanna get this up before Christmas uh, so it gives people some ideas for last minute presents. You probably won't be able to order online now because it is so close to Christmas. It's Friday the 21st, I believe today. Um, but you might be able to go to the shops because they're open quite late this Christmas time. Um, I know Smith's is open till 10 p.m. So maybe if you see something you like um, and you're stuck for ideas or you need to get something at the last minute for your niece or something, um, some of these ideas might help. So yeah, I'm really sorry if it is quite late. I did plan to get this up a little bit earlier, but because um, Paul is obviously at work, I can't film this when Harry's at home because he will see the presents and he will want to open them and it's just like not good. So my mum's just took Harry out for an hour or two. Ellie's at school, it's her last day today and I thought I need to get this filmed. So even for next year, if this gives you inspiration or ideas for next year, then um, yeah, I hope that helps. So Ellie's main present from Santa this year, she has asked for Barbie Dream House and it's very expensive. It's crazy amount of money, um, but she has been wanting this for quite some time and she's had a Barbie house in the past, but it was plastic and the doors kept breaking off, the stairs actually snapped and Harry's kind of destroyed it. So um, we actually had to chuck that away because it was just ruined. And um, with this Barbie dream house, I think it's a bit more, I don't know if it's wooden. Um, I think there is like plastic, like I think the slide's plastic, um, but it is more durable and better quality, I hope, because it was a lot of money. Um, but yeah, that is what she's asked for this year and she does love Barbie, so I know she will use it. She's got um, the Barbie plane already and the camper van and the ambulance. So yeah, she's always wanted this Barbie house and actually one of her school friends has got it and we went over there at firework night and she didn't even go outside to watch the fireworks because she was so in love with this Barbie house, like she was playing it the whole night. So yeah, that is her main present from Santa. Um, and obviously we'll have to build that because it's huge and um, have that all ready for her from Santa. So yeah, that's what she's getting for her main presents. And then I've got the other things that was on her Christmas list. This is everything she put on her Christmas list. Um, apart from two things, two things were kindly gifted to us, which is so lovely and we really appreciate it and she's going to love them. So I'm going to quickly show you them now. I probably know this brand really well because it's been around for so many years and it brings me back to my childhood because I absolutely adored these and I had a whole collection which I wish I kept uh, and then I could have like handed down to my children. So yeah, they are the Salvanian families and they are just the classic toy that every children want. Um, so yeah, this is the little polar bear family set and they're just beautiful. They're really good quality as well. So they're gonna last you for you know years and years and it's something that you can hand down to child to child to child or you know, grandchildren if you want to. And yeah, there is so much in the Salvanian family collection that you can buy. You can buy cottages, little accessories, and obviously different characters. So these are the polar bear family. And even like as a little stocking filler, I think that's so sweet. Um, and I know my little niece would love these as well. So I might have to get her some. Um, so yeah, that is the polar bear family. And then they also kindly gifted this Red Roof Cozy Cottage Starter Home. Now, I think both my children are gonna love this. Harry is obsessed with animals and little figures, so I think Harry is probably gonna want this more than Ellie, um, but I know they'll both love it and get a lot of use out of this. So yeah, this is the Cozy Cottage, and it comes with over 10 pieces, and I can see already that it's such good quality and very like durable so yeah it comes with a little rabbit and some furniture and i mean what kid 
wouldn't want this for Christmas. It's just so sweet and I can't wait to start collecting the whole Salvanian family range. Um, so yeah, as you can see, um, it's connectable as well actually. So if you can see at the side of the box that you can connect things to them. Um, so you can add some stuff to the collection. Uh, but yeah, I will leave a link down below if you are interested in purchasing any of the Salvania families or you'd like to see the whole range, then definitely check, check out the description box below. So yeah, a big thank you to the guys for sending them to the children. They can't wait for these. They don't even know they've got them, but I know they're going to be over the moon with them. Um, they actually sent me a little catalogue that I'm going to have a little read of later of all of the products that they do and I mean like there is so many that you can get they've got like a pizzeria grocery market doctors tons on there all of this stuff is very random but she went through the Smith's catalogue and she picked these things out so obviously she wants them I got this I think it's called bloom I don't know B-L-U-M-E, I can just about see that. And um, but it says add water to see who blooms. Ah, uh, blooms, yeah. Uh series one, ten surprises inside, and you just have to add water. Don't actually know what this is, but she really wanted it. Um and it says, oh that was postman. Wild hair that wows. Okay, so I'm guessing it's like a little flower pot comes with the watering can at the top and you water it and then the hair grows or something don't really know but she wanted it and that was from Argos if I can find any links for this stuff I will link it down below she's got quite a few Barbie things obviously um, she's a massive Barbie lover so this stuff is kind of to go along with the main present so she actually wanted this for her birthday and I forgot to get it so um, she's got it finally. This is the Barbie Fashionistas Ultimate Closet. And it's basically a wardrobe that opens up and it comes with coat hangers. I'm a little bit disappointed because I thought it would actually come with like accessories and like clothes. Um, because obviously the photo shows that inside. But um, yeah, it doesn't. So... She's got quite a lot of accessories and outfits from her Barbies already, so she'll quite enjoy putting them into the closet. Um, but yeah, it looks like that at the back. So yeah, that was from Smith's, I believe. Um, I think it was £20, which I think is quite a lot for a plastic wardrobe. I also got this from Smith's. Um, to be honest, I saw this and I thought, that is a Barbie that I would love. Like, if I was a little child, this is the Barbie I would love. So she also comes with Chelsea, I think it's Chelsea, and I love her outfit. Sorry, it's really glary, but if you can see, I think she looks really nice. So she's got this really lovely floppy hat, um, and I saw it online and I was like, she looks really nice and trendy, so I'm going to get her that. And this is the, what's this set called? It's called something. I think it's called like cafe set or something. It doesn't say on it. Unless I just can't see it. I think it's like the cafe set or something. Um, but I just loved her outfit with the floppy hat. She comes with Chelsea and this stand here. It's like an ice cream place. Ah, yes, yeah, an ice cream place. So it comes with table chairs, milkshakes, um, a till, and this like ice cream stand. And I just think that is such a lovely little set for a little girl to have. Or a boy, if boys are into Barbie like my little one is. Um, but yeah, if I, that's definitely in stock. So I only just got that, so I will leave that link down below. But um, yeah, she's looking good, Barbie. She's looking really good. Another thing that was on her list. She loves the new Aladdin, and so do I. We went to see it. Oh, when was it? Back in August or July, and it was incredible. Like, the live-action one with Will Smith as a genie it was one of the best disney films i've seen this year which is hard to say because there's so many good ones this year um and i'd like to do like kind of like a favorites video maybe talk about it but i loved all of them like i loved toy story loved lion king and frozen amazing um 
but there's something about Aladdin that we just both loved. I think it was the music and like the characters just played it so well. Um, so yeah, she's got the new Jasmine dress and she got it for her birthday. So she's really into Jasmine at the moment um, and she sings all of her songs. So she wanted this, it is the Princess Jasmine musical doll and she's got the new kind of dress on from the film if you can see there um i don't know her name the actress but she was amazing in the film so yeah she's got her new kind of dress and outfit on and she sings her favorite song speechless Me and Ellie love that song and we proper like give it. So um, she's gonna be so happy because she doesn't actually know that this sings. She thought it was just a doll. So it's got like an extra added bonus for her. Um, so yeah, she's gonna really love that. Another thing on her list, whoops. Uh, again, this was from Argos or Very, one of them. She wanted Soggy Doggy. Um, I think she's seen someone on YouTube play this um, or it was on an advert. But yeah, it just says the showering, shaking, doggy, bathing game. So I guess you just shower him and then he kind of like shakes in the bath. Um, but all kids love things like this. And we really do like board games. I got a quite a lot of board games last year. Um, and we've got like a cupboard where they all go in. So if we're bored one evening or we're having like a day in, we get the games out. So yeah, I think Harry will love that as well. So it's something that they can both share. Next one, guys. It's so random, but she really wanted it. It was like pretty much at the top of her list. She keeps going, mummy, mummy, make sure you get the shaving Ken. So basically this is Ken, Barbie Ken, shaving set so he comes with a sink a mirror and it's kind of like a grooming shaving thing but she really wanted it and she found it hilarious so i mean look at ken he's got like a really good beard going on it's really hard to shave for the light but um yeah that's what she wanted so i got it uh, if you can see there, that's what it looks like close up. Um, I got that from Smith's if anyone's interested, and I'm pretty sure it is still in stock. The next thing I got, um, I really didn't want to get because I didn't want to pay the money for it. Because to me, I just think it's not worth it. It's plastic and it's like tack. But it was on offer and it reduced to quite a bit and I thought, you know what? She wanted it, it's on her list, and she really does love Ryan Toy Review. Ryan World, I think it's called. Yeah, Ryan's World. She's obsessed with the kid. She likes the blind bag, she's got the figures, she's got the uh, mystery egg, and she wanted this, which is the, what is this? Super Surprise Safe. So apparently there's 30 plus surprises to unlock and you've got to use the key to unlock the surprises. Um, it's quite a good idea, like she will like doing this, um, using the key to unlock it and to get the surprises. But it's very much like LOL, I'm pretty sure the surprises are gonna be like rubbish and tack. Um, but I suppose you can use the safe after, it's quite heavy. So she'll probably like to just use the safe after. I don't know if she's gonna actually use the things inside there, but yeah, she wanted it and, oh, was that on Ferry? It was either Ferry or Argos, but it was on sale. I think it was the Black Friday sale, so I wouldn't pay full price for it. Just saying that. Okay, next thing. The girl is obsessed with Polly Pockets, which again brings back my childhood memories. I absolutely loved Polly Pocket. Um, and it's very kind of vintage and retro to me. Um, she put this on her Christmas list. It's called the Go Tiny Room, I think. Yeah, Go Tiny Room. And 
when I went to order it, I was like, oh my God, it's 29 99 And to me, Polly Pockets are like the little Polly Pockets. Um, so I was thinking, why is it 29 99 And the image it shows, it still looks quite small. Um, until you actually get it in real life. And I was like, oh, okay, it's actually quite a big set. So I don't know if you can tell there, but it is quite big. Um, so that's the reason why it was 29.99. I should have read the measurements. Uh, but basically, it's Polly Pocket's room. Um, you've got a Polly Pocket little size, and then you've got a big size, and it comes with loads of accessories. So it's got um, a drone, uh, what's that? Outfit, skateboard, uh, a laptop, a fish tank, desk chair uh car like there is quite a lot of accessories um but also if you spin this hopefully you can see this she like goes i don't really know she's going like in and out of the wardrobe but um yeah it's, it's quite big and i know she will like this and because she's a little bit older now this is it looks like an older girl's bedroom and you know really cool so yeah um it says dolls really stick with it. Oh, so the little Polly Pocket sticks to things. Um, oh yeah, you can see a bigger picture here of what it's all about. But um, yeah, it's what she asked for. So it's quite nice because now she can write her list out herself. I find it really hard. I'd prefer them to actually say what they want and not get something that they wouldn't play with, if that makes sense. Um, because Harry couldn't really tell me what he wants it, it was a lot harder with Harry okay so her little cousin has got one of these and um Ellie was like going mad over it like she really wanted it so I got her one it was 10 pounds or if you want the dog to come in a little bag it was 20 pounds but I couldn't justify spending 20 pounds on a little dog I just couldn't do it so 10 pounds was like the maximum um, but this is the Oh My God Pets, and apparently it does 15 sounds and reactions. Um, it's really soft. Oh yeah, it is quite soft. And there's a little bottle so you can feed the dog. Um, and then it comes alive. I don't really know what this does, but she really wanted it. And you know what? I might put this in her stocking filler. Um, yeah, I might put this in her stocking filler, but then I'll feel bad because Harry hasn't got one. Oh dear, because I think Harry will probably like this now. Oh, yeah, great. Um, and then the last thing I got, again, was something she was going on about for quite some time. She wanted it for her birthday, but because she got baby Annabelle for her birthday, I didn't get this. But this is a little bit different to, like, a baby doll. This is more of a... I don't really know what she is. But she's called... Kindy Kids? Um, this is the, oh, she's called something, Marshmallow, it's not Marshmallow, I think it's Marshmallow, and it says, my head bobbles, squeezy baby chino, and I can bite my cake pop, um, yeah, again, I think her cousin's got this, uh, but it says, changeable shoes, and clothes, and big glittery eyes. So yeah, she comes with a few little things, um, but there was all different like colours and designs, but she wanted the marsh marshmallow, I think it's called. Um, I got that from Berry. I got that from Berry. Um, but I hope you found this helpful for maybe next year or last minute presents. Let me know what you have got your child for Christmas this year because it always gives me inspiration for the following year. And yeah, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.